early. 5.39 in the morning. Going yeah. An hour ago. Yeah, we already uh, up and about an hour or second cup of tea. Yes, tea. And we're negotiating a lot of little fishing boats. Like a lot of them. We just hope they don't have nets out and got us in strangled but look at how beauty at the back sun is up or sun is coming up and that is didem at the back right didem and the smoke of didem as well we've got our fishing lines out as well this is basically this time of the morning it's good yeah, we, we, we saw lots of fishing boats and we thought, if they thought, then we thought we can catch a few fish. So, so it looks like we are in the right ocean, in the right sea, in the right bay, in the right country, in the right time and all of the right things. So let's see. Where? Okay. False alarm. False alarm. It was on free, uh, right at the bottom, on free running. Free running. So no uh, fish. Almost thought we were lucky. Aye, and it is the right place, the right environment, everything is right, right. We are two crazies from South Africa. That's Frick. And this is Pietro. We chucked everything and are now full time living and sailing on our new home, Sisu. Like completely like a checkerboard. Look, this one is coming here. Yeah. You can see the the wind line here is coming. Look at this gust is coming for us. The wind is now 10 knots. I put us into manual so I can steer into the wind if this gust is eating us. Here it is. Already 18 knots. Twenty. So we we reefed again. We now on reef one. And as we reef, the wind dropped again. But I think we're going to keep it on the reef. Look at the sea. Very short, choppy waves. Not nice. Look at that. Ah, it's going to get whacked again. Oopsie daisy. So if I look at all these little white horses, then it's going to be not a good sail. And Windy predicted what? Eight knots. Eight knots. And on my watch, it went from eight knots to 22. True, at about 25 apparent. Yeah, and now it's back to 15. Now back to, ooh, there we go. You may ask, how is it inside? Do we get slammed in this choppy seas? Relatively quiet inside. dramatically and now it's straight from the front 
and it changes all the time <laughs> so I can see and I'm fortunate to see this uh, uh, wind shift or a wind gust coming for us and a big issue with catamarans is we don't heal so if that thing hits you you need to be ready so what I normally do is the windward uh, sheet line I'm going to use that one to, to hold it in my hand and if that front is hitting you or that race if that wind is hitting you then the big thing is a cat can not easily flip not than modern cats anyway but you can maybe rip your sail or something like that and here it is now so i'm checking my rudder you can see the rudder is now being busy working over time to compensate so while that one is up, i just now ease up a little bit more and as i ease up i'm just watching that to see how much the rudder is still working the rudder is still working still working there we go now you can see the rudder is much less so this also means now the boat is balanced and i can beat it off the moment this wind is passed this gust is passed and it's now going already 20 knots of wind the moment it's passed of course the main needs to come back again and you can see i just depowered the main Petro always make this absolutely awesome soup for, uh, for our first night sail, right? And we're going to do an overnight again. And it always is a winner. That is party, full of vegetables, lots of meat. Vegetables? Lots of green stuff. Camouflage, eat, red stuff. <laughs> and it is just heartwarming. Petra is preparing for night shift. She's going to be the first one on night shift and she wants to have a clear window. Not a weather window, <laughs> a forward looking window. With a clear and a forward looking window. Weather window. It looks a little bit dirty. Oh, inside is just as bad. I think that's one of the nice things of of Sisu. We're pretty stable, isn't it? This roof is quite okay and safe to stand on. And sit and work. As long as you stay flat. the water bowl is staying exactly where you put it it's getting cleaner and cleaner and cleaner -er. stick for this shift uh, from 12 to 3 it just worked out so nicely this time 9 to 12 12 to 3 it's not always the sun is setting at 8 30 anyway and i'm looking at the chart here that's awaiting me and look it's going to be going to be interesting so, 
that gap there is about two and a half miles big. So then I need to go tack, tack, tack through there, not through the islands, maybe through here, and then through there, and then through there, and there's a lot of ships also in the way. And then I'm back in the open seas. So then we're on the way to that side. It's going to be tricky. South in this position. Big boat is coming that direction. Day south position. Yes, my boat. Yes, land. It's like one mile away from me. I need to start tacking. But if I tack, I might hit that one. So I need to wait for that one to pass so that I can start tacking. Because I don't want to hit that big boat there. The other thing is there's a light over there, there's an island over there, so I need to get through there. Okay, so I tacked, um, and you can see, this is not a collision course, by the time I'm reaching there, that boat should be far away. And the sun is about to come up. I think we finally made it, I think one more tack, and then we out of out of this canal so that's the Greece side and that's the Turkey side so we zigzag 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 all through the canal and even through there there we had to switch the lot because there was just too many of the big ships there so this morning we decided we're going to have a school of squids following us. Check. We're going to put yellow. Everything is going to be yellow today. It was busy here with another yellowish one. That's very yellow. Yeah, very yellow. And this one is going to go on one of the rods. And I put this one now on this one. We don't have so many yellow ones, but hopefully they will think this is a male or a female. <laughs> Our apparent wind dropped to basically nothing. And I suspect the Maltemi is going to overrule that very soon. Our sails are just hanging. So we are just drinking coffee and listening to some music and sitting in the sun. Enjoying the lovely sunrise. I just saw Pietro trying to get the sails to move like a fish tail fin. And Did we pick up fish? <laughs> <laughs> Not sure it's working. You must maybe do it faster and bigger and <laughs> Yes, yes, we are already gaining a point zero one of a knot. <laughs> oh no. Oh, 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 look, look, look. It was what? Not even for two minutes. Yeah, there was like, I think the parent went up to about 28. Yeah. 28. Yeah, so we had to reduce speed of Sisu a lot to actually get the parent wind down. Even though that the wind is now quite okay, 19, we don't need to actually reef. I look, I took the far lookers and looked through that gap. That's the gap that we need to go through. And behind that gap is huge white gap. So I think that is going to be a very, very high acceleration zone. So we reef now. It was actually quite painless, the reef, right? Yep. Because we marked it. Yeah, so we marked the lines here. Uh, and so the reef lines. Right? So the reef lines are marked, so we know exactly if we stand there in the coffin that we can reef without having to go out there.
So I squeeze this here in a spot again and it's the first time that we are fender to fender and we this close here it's very strange place and then on this side it's like this but look at these ugly iron pieces it's it's not nice we are on our way to do final provisioning because we have a because we have a weather window <laughs> we have to leave now yeah frick so set running late as it is frick set we, we need to go through Dardanelle Dardanelle huh? Dardanelle Dardanelle channel yeah it's a very notoriously windy channel and we have the Maltemi around the corner it's always a good idea not to do it while the wind is blowing like 40 knots so and we've got our masks on because we're going to go to Migos we found aged steaks look at that yeah, about 120 dollars Today we are here in Aivalik and we want to go to all the way, all the way, all the way up here to Buscada. Buscada. So that is an island, it was a Greek island, now it is a Turkish island, but they make wine. It's a wine making island. And then that's a Dardanelle. So we're going to stay there for the night and hopefully tomorrow there's no wind. If wind is correct, then we're going to go through this treacherous canal which is lots of wind. So that's a Dardanelle. Here's the Sea of Marmara. And there is Istanbul and that's the Bosphorus over there. And that's the Black Sea.